it's Miss Sarah. Can you guess where I am? I'm actually at our school. I just stop and feed our fish in the fish tank today, and I thought, wouldn't it be a good idea to read my friends a fishy story when I go feed the fish? And after our story, I'm gonna show you how I feed the fish. We're going to talk about what the fish need to survive in the fish tank as well, okay? So the book that I have for you guys today is called The Winnie. And this book is by Leo Lyony, and he is such a good writer, and he's such a good illustrator that this book won a medal. I don't know if you can see, but right here, that's called a Caldecott medal. That means that the pictures in this book were so, 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 so good that he won an award. So while I'm reading you this story, pay special attention to the pictures. Okay, boys and girls, let's get started. This is called Swimmy. I think that's Swimmy right there. A happy school of little fish lived in a corner of the sea somewhere. They were all red. Only one of them was as black as a mussel shell. He swam faster than his brothers and sisters. His name was Swimmy. You see him? There he is. <gasps> one bad day, a tuna fish, swift, fierce, and very hungry, came darting through the waves. In one gulp, oh, he swallowed all the little red fish. Only Swimmy escaped. See how he got away from this big tuna fish? He swam away in the deep, wet world. He was scared, lonely, and very sad. Oh, poor Swimmy. He was all by himself. But the sea was full of wonderful creatures, and as he swam from marvel to marvel, Swimmy was happy again. He saw a Medusa made of rainbow jelly. Do you think that could be a jellyfish? Could be. A lobster who walked about like a water-moving machine. Pretty neat. Strange fish pulled by an invisible thread. A forest of seaweed growing from sugar candy rocks. Wouldn't you like to go swimming through that kelp? I think I would like that. It's so beautiful. An eel whose tail was almost too far away to remember. Is that slippery eel. And sea anemones who looked like pink palm trees swaying in the wind. Then, hidden in the dark shade of rocks and weeds, he saw a school of little fish, just like his own. Let's go and swim and play and see things, he said happily. We can't, said the little red fish. The big fish will eat us all. But you can't just lie there, said Swimmy. We must think of something. So they're hiding because they're scared of that big fish. But Swimmy says that they have to think of something. I wonder what they're going to think about. Swimmy thought and thought and thought. Do you guys think? Then suddenly he said, I have it. We are going to swim all together like the biggest fish in the sea. He taught them to swim close together in his own place. Well, see how they're swimming all together? And when they had learned to swim like one giant fish, he said, I'll be the eye. I'm going to show you. Look, now they look like a big fish. Do you see how Swimmy is the eye of the big fish? And so they swam 
Instagram in the cool morning water in the midday sun and chased all the big fish away. Oh my goodness, the big fish were afraid of all the little fish because they worked together. And that's that. That's the end. I hope you guys liked that story. I sure did. So now, I think it might be time to feed the fish. But before we feed the fish, um, I want to talk to you about fish. Some of you guys might even have a pet fish at home. Or you might have, have a fish tank. Or maybe you've been to the aquarium before and you've seen all the fish in the big, 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 big fish tanks. Um, but it takes a lot of work to keep fish alive in a fish tank because fish need lots of things to survive. So let's think about this. So in this fish tank, I have lots of fishies swimming around. I think they're excited because they're ready for some food, but they have to live inside of water. If you would take the fish out of water, would that be good for the fish? No, it wouldn't. Fish have gills, so they breathe in water. And it's really important that they stay in the water because if they're out of the water, then they won't survive. Another thing about the water is there's something right here. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's, this is a temperature gauge, okay? The water has to be the right temperature for the fish, which means it can't be too cold and it can't be too hot, okay? So think about this. If the water gets too cold, are the fish, can the fish put on a coat? No, that would be silly, right? Or if it gets too hot, can the fish leave the water? No, they can't. So it's really important that the water is not too hot and it's not too cold for the fish because if it gets too cold or it gets too hot, then the fish won't survive. Um, another thing that the fish need is clean water. So I don't know if you can see, but there is some bubbles back here. That's called the filter of the fish tank. Can you guys say filter? A filter is something that cleans the water. Because think about this, do you think that the fish want to swim around in dirty water? No, the filter helps to keep the fish tank clean, okay? And the fish also have some things for them as well. They have some plants that they can hide in. They have rocks that they can play with. They have lots of things to do in order to keep them happy in their fish tank. Isn't that interesting to think about? Now, hmm, let's see, let's see. we talked about the temperature. We talked about the water. We talked about the filter. What else do fish need? Oh, I think I know. It's fish food. Now, fish food, you can buy this at a pet store. Is this people food? If I eat fish food, is that going to be yummy? Oh, no, it's not. That's going to be so yucky. This is only for the fish. Like, think about this. If I gave the fish some cheeseburgers, would they eat that? No. They have special fish food that they eat. And whenever you feed fish, it's important to keep in mind that you only do a little tiny pinch because if you give them too much food, then that wouldn't be good for the fish. And if you forgot to feed them, oh no, the poor fish, right? They'd be so hungry. So it's important if you have a fish tank, you have to remember to feed the fish every day. That's an important thing to take care of the fish, just like you would take care of your other pets, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and feed the fish now. I'm going to put the um, video camera close to the fish tank so you can watch the fish eat. Isn't that gonna be fun? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and lift this up. Now, if you have a fish tank at home, only mommies and daddies and adults touch the fish tank unless you ask, right? And then, I don't know if you can see in there, but that's the fish food. Ooh, not for me, for the fish. So, oh, it even is a little stinky. So I'm gonna take a little pinch. I'm gonna put it in here for the fish. Oh, look at them, they're already eating. I'm gonna put one little tiny extra pinch just in case. All right, now I'm gonna give you guys a closer look at these fish eating. Ready? So here is 
Oops. Here is the fish. Do you see how they're all eating the food at the top? The food floats at the top of the water and the fish will go to the top and eat there. Looks like they ate it all up almost. They were hungry. And see, there's some fish swimming in the bottom. Up oh, there's the froggy. There's that frog. There's some fish, some bigger fish that like to hide in the back. So there's all the fish. Aren't they having a good time swimming along, huh? Oh, I think he got one. All right, friends. Look at all those fish. I bet the fish miss you. They'll be happy to see everybody when we go back to school. All righty, everybody. So that about does it for this video. Um, for your mommies and daddies, I'm going to include a link in the description so that you can take a virtual field trip to an aquarium because you can't go to an aquarium right now because they're closed, but you can still see the webcams and you can still see the fish because the fish are still there, right? Just like the fish are still at our school, even though we're not, and that's okay. All right, everybody, I wish you all very, very well, and I hope to see you soon. Bye, guys.